needs um, as time goes by, you know what I mean? And it starts becoming um, your new normal. You know what I mean? Like it goes from being this heavy, dark kind of feeling, you know, the, the sadness kind of setting into uh, somehow it, it, with time, it turns into more of a, um, a proud, uplifting, happy kind of thing because of, of the time that you did get to spend. Um, so you kind of start looking at things from a different perspective and also everything that has been built upon each block that was built on top of the next block of the things that she still keeps on accomplishing, you know, and what she represents and the icon that she has become. I mean, all that becoming kind of part of my everyday um, existence. It's my, it's my normal, you know, um, it's not anything that um, I would, I don't want anybody to get the wrong idea. It's not anything I would even try to get away from. It's just, um, it's the same thing, but it just feels a lot different than it did back then when I did the interview um, 20 something years ago, you know? Um, but again, all the, the things that she represents and what she's become, especially for our, our, our culture, you know, Latin culture and, and women and um, just the positivity that she um, spoke about and, and displayed, you know, not only on stage, but off stage. I mean, I think all those are great reasons that uh, her fans have put her, and I, I believe it's her fans that have done it, that have put her in the position that she's in these days, you know, and uh, out of everybody that I've known in my life, I don't know anybody more deserving than her, than Selena. You know, I want to write a quote that said, um, it's always love at first sight when you first see someone and if it's it's never not love at first sight if it's the person for you you're gonna know instantly and um did you know that did you know that she was gonna be your wife that's a tricky one yes and no i mean, <laughs> I, I you know what having having said that i agree with what you said 100 percent. but it at the same time you could feel that but because of the situation you could kind of mentally distance yourself from that feeling because yo it's a work environment or whatever environment it might be and so you can't just right away like you know latch right. on to somebody that you feel that for so um it would it so to answer your question yes it, it was like that and at the same time just trying to uh be responsible, you know, in the position because I was getting um, really close to everybody in the band and we were working very well together at the time. And um, I've said it before, I mean, back then in those days, it was like, I mean, it was a lot of work, but it didn't feel like it because it's a lot different if you're playing like a game of tug of war, which the industry and the business can feel like a lot of times. It's one thing to be to feel like you're the one person on the other line on that one line of the rope and then there's five six of the people on the other side pulling against you as opposed to having everybody pulling in the same direction you know so to speak and that was probably one of the first experiences that i had being in a band that where it felt like that to me because in all the other um projects i had been a part of i had kind of been towing a lot of the line you know whether it was a, as a musical director as the guitarist or a songwriter, musician in the band. And over here, they had so many different weapons, you know, and Ricky Vela and Joe Heather and, those, and the mm -hmm. rest of the guys. The, obviously, Selena, of course, that goes without saying, um, that it was just like, it felt like the harder we wore, the harder we worked, the better things got for us. It wasn't like we were just working really hard and not getting something in return, you know, which now looking back, I mean, it seems even more of a rarity these days than it was back then, you know, because, I mean, if everybody knew how to do it, everybody would be doing it, you know. That's true. That's true. And you said, um, I think that's true when you said you think her fans kept her alive, because I feel like her fan base is second to none. That's why. No, yeah, disrespect, sure. no disrespect what I'm about to say, because Hispanic Heritage Month, I'm half Puerto Rican. I had to throw that out there. My dad's Puerto Rican, my mom's Mexican. The <laughs> Puerto Ricans are like, girl, you better do Celia. You got to do Celia. Like, you know, oh, the yeah. Cuban, Caribbean. 
And in my heart, my intuition was like, I feel like Selena is just like, it's it's her fan base. It's the fan base, you know, like not taking away nothing from that, but I feel like the fans kept her alive. And I wrote that, I wrote that. I said, I think every little girl watched the movie. I think every little girl wanted to be here at one point, right? And it's like, even now, like people like dress like her, right? They, they got the costumes. I feel like that's the reason why we just keep her, it's just keeping her alive. And um, did, maybe, maybe not at the moment, you probably didn't, you said you knew she was special, but do look at look at 25 years and people are still like repping her, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, again, there's a little bit of a filter that I that I kind of look through because I thought that as far as um the talent and whatnot, I thought that from day one. You know what I mean? And then when everything happened at that point in time, I thought that was it. You know, there was no, that I knew of anyway, no talk of any movie or, you know, books were gonna be written about her or, you know, the people in Espanol, they did the first magazine was because of her from what I understand, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? And all these things kind of started unfolding. And so it became really obvious just how big of a, of an impact that she was still continuing to have, you know what I mean, later on. But I always thought that from day one that she had the talent to be at the top of the game, um, the work ethic to do that, um, the support from her uh, family, you know, and from her fans, again, most importantly. Um, but to see where it's gone, you know, it's just, um, I, I'm constantly amazed at the, um, the response her fans give her when something new comes out relating to her, you know what I mean? Or like, I mean, the big, big, I mean, it's all big, but the, the big thing for me was the Mac makeup uh, release Definitely. that that thing just, I mean, it, you know, to be in Corpus the day of the release and inside the American Bank Center and the lines of people coming out to purchase it. And it's just, I, I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. And, you know, the, the beauty, stuff what she was really into you know and and so i could just it felt it was a special moment for me you know to be able to share that with so many of her fans that it came from so many different parts of uh of the world to be honest and not just the u.s but um i think also <clears throat> one of the big things is like uh she was so young so i think the connection between um the younger generation at the time um and her when she was still alive it was that big of a gap uh, a lot of our fan base were our age you know we were she was what 24 or fi about to be 24 um at the time and um even back then there were little kids coming to the shows the all ages show you know a, a lot of them and standing in the front row and she would make sure that, that nobody was pushing up on them and you know pay attention to them but then after she passed like our generation handed it down to the the generation you know after us and then they handed down after them and so like even to these days it seems like every for example we're hitting that time of year because i'm starting to get pictures of kids you know what i mean that are dressed like her for halloween and uh -huh. even like me i'm like when did this start happening you know it's just so uh, surreal but I mean and then you see babies like you know with a microphone and they're laying Definitely. on their blanket Definitely. and taking portraits of them I mean it's 